We just started making our way from New Orleans, Louisiana to hopefully Alaska with our totally untrained puppy, Veronica, and our seasoned rock star, Inertia, in a tiny RV. How long is this trip supposed to take? I have no idea. Alaska is very far from Louisiana. I heard it was just north of Seattle. It is not just north of Seattle. We made it to the beautiful town of Henrietta, Texas. So I get like a zillion dog training questions every week as to what my best tips are for training a new puppy or any dog. One thing I always tell people, especially those who are new to training, is be really consistent and practice often. And I get it, sometimes that's easier said than done as we've seen many times on our series. But wouldn't it be great if you had all the toys, the treats, the supplies, and the advice, probably the most important part, for an entire year. Pupbox sends you supplies and detailed advice as to what to work on with your dog, very specific to their age. For example, this is the two-month box. You're not just getting toys and treats, you're getting really useful tools like this training leash here. When your puppy is two months old, you need to manage their environment. Yeah. And they talk about that on this training card, and then they give you the leash to do it with. Yeah. I think it's so great. I wanna see if these treats are really optimized for training. That's not one treat, that's a bunch of treats, because look, I can just oh, break them off. They have different textures for your teething puppy. You can put some treats right there so it's a little tougher to access. Listen to the crinkles. Oh different than, you know, a plush toy. Yeah. <laughs> These guys have like ballistic bug skin. They are very unchewable. Ballistic bug skin? It looks like this. <laughs> and it's ballistic, I'm telling you. Try to rip that. Pretend you're a puppy, try to bite it. Ah, exactly. And you can get half off your first pup box when you sign up for a three, six or 12 month plan. Go to pupbox.com slash Zach and enter discount code Zach. Here's the thing, in Henrietta, Texas, apparently it is supposed to be over 100 degrees for the next many days. Oh no. I don't know that I want to spend a ton of time here for that reason. No. And when you know you're dealing with hot weather, getting out there just before sunrise is a pretty smart idea too. I think we're both really looking forward to getting out of this extreme heat and into some weather where we don't need any climate control at all. Good thing we're headed north. Yeah, I'm sure you're not going to overcorrect there at all. What do you mean? But right now, I've got to be honest, I feel like I have found my favorite place on earth here in Henrietta, Texas, because I am feet away from the perfect ball field to play frisbee with inertia at. I'm telling you, those rough ball fields out in the country are the best place to train and play with your dogs. You can hear like kids in the background playing, which is also good. You're gonna see a lot more updates with inertia because people keep asking for that, but she's been doing incredible with her frisbee. I feel like she's really just coming into her own and she's been so great with Veronica. I'm the most proud I've ever been of her. She's amazing. I think one of the challenges when you have two dogs, one that you've had a while, like we have had with Inertia, and then a younger dog like Veronica, that the temptation is to be like, I need to put all of my effort into the new dog to make sure I get them up to speed as soon as possible. But of course you can't neglect your other dog. So kind of what I've been doing, I'm still working with Inertia and maintaining her training, but I'm sure to exercise her early in the day before I do a major training session with Veronica so I can satisfy her mentally, physically, and just get her to take a nap while I focus one-on-one -on -one with Veronica, who needs that time. Before we move on here from Texas, though, I've got a couple of things I really want to work on with Veronica. Yes, thank you. <laughs> she needs it. Come. Come when called is such a critical skill, maybe one of the most important of all time. And Veronica's recall needs some work. And that's to be expected with a puppy. I really think come when called is done successfully when you focus on it in little bits at a time. You're not gonna train your dog to come to you in one training session. Furthermore, even if you do get some successes of come when called, context is everything. Like right now she's looking at the random debris on the ground, there's a stick over there. So we always wanna be conscious of the setting and the things that are going on around us when we're asking our dogs to come to us. In other words, it's really common for dogs to be too overwhelmed by their environment to process the request to come to you when you call them. Sometimes your dog is going to want to get into ants and say, hey, what's that? And on one hand, the most severe wildlife we've encountered so far is fire ants. I don't like those guys. But I hear as we go north, there might be some larger animals that we have to deal with in the wild. Oh, we got some geese in the background she's barking at. And right now, I'd be satisfied to get her to just glance at me because she's very stimulated. All right, well, we're off to a start here. Veronica! Yes! I was hoping that once I had her attention, she would just automatically come running to me. I mean, she does that in less distracting instances. Still gonna give her the treat, because I said yes. Come on! 
She started to come, but I think it's probably best to let this play out and give her the opportunity to reason through what I'm asking rather than saying, come, come, Veronica, Veronica. Yes. All things considered though, that was pretty amazing because she was really distracted. When Inertia was that age, she would not have come to me if she was barking and really excited like that. Yeah, I think you maybe haven't spent the night with Veronica in a little while because she's more reactive than Inertia once the sun goes down. Typically after successes like this, I like to let her go back to doing what she was doing. Even if she wants to go over there and bark at all those geese, I'm actually okay with that right now because I know that must be very interesting to her, and she has to satisfy that curiosity at some point. Now is as good a time as any, I suppose. Yes! Veronica! She's showing glimmers of responding to her name, which in this case is really just an attention getter. And I want to be there to encourage her to come to me when she does look at me. Come! Yes! So you see what I did there out of habit. I said come and I gave her a hand signal simultaneously. I really would like to isolate those. Yes, that was so good. And I also said it as she was coming to me, not before. Right now I'm really focused on telling her what she's doing rather than telling her to do something. You'll know that keeping control of your dog, especially in public, is the number one priority for their own safety. I'm using a long lead. Typically I like to use a 20 to 30 foot lead for lessons like this. This not only keeps our dogs from getting away from us, but it also keeps them from getting into things that they shouldn't. Yes! And she's like, how can I get something I want? Well, coming to that guy often works. Just by having your dog on a lead, you can literally prevent them from getting into bad habits. And I mean, getting your dog to chase you and follow you is a great way yes. to encourage them to voluntarily Good come girl. to you. With puppies, they tend to stay with you naturally a lot, especially young puppies like this. But she's coming up on that age where her curiosity is very likely to get the best of her and she's not as likely to come to you. So overwhelming consistency, particularly with come when called is important. And what do I mean by that? Make sure you've got treats and or toys everywhere and always have access to those things as much as possible. Do not leave the house without a currency with your dog. You want to be in a position to reinforce the recall when they come to you. Now, sometimes you can use the environment itself as the reward. In other words, access to the environment. Other times having a really high quality treat or having a great oh. toy that they love can help them establish that habit of coming to you when you call them. This is one of those things that's way easier said than done, always having a currency that is. But if you commit to getting good at that, you won't regret it. What Zach has taught me with Veronica, bare minimum, is that I at least always wanna have one treat in my pocket. So when I wake up now, I brush my teeth and I put a treat in my pocket. I got one treat in my pocket and the other one is... In my pocket. <laughs> you need so many treats in your pocket. I think it's important for dogs to know the difference between hand signals and verbal requests. There will be many times in a dog's life where one will have an advantage over the other. Maybe you're engaged in a conversation with a neighbor and you just want to give a hand signal to Here. your dog, or maybe you have your hands full and you want to give a verbal request. Let's get one with my hands behind my back here. Just the word. Come. Yes. Okay, it seems like she's starting to get the hang of coming to me when I use my voice to actually call her, but I also want her to understand my hand signal too. So I'm gonna try to give her a super obvious hand signal. Over time, I can make this more subtle. So that kissy sound that I'm making really gets her attention. Once I have her attention, she's likely to come running to me since I've been consistently rewarding her in this session. Good. And notice too, I'm not insisting when she comes to me that she hold a sit stay. I'm letting her go back to doing what she wants because I don't want her to dread coming to me. Our goal continues to be to do our best to virtually always guarantee that there's something great waiting for Veronica when she comes to me, especially oh. when I ask for it. And even when I don't. Yes, reluctantly, but she did it. Good girl, very good. So rather than saying come this time, I'm only gonna use a hand signal. Yes. Great, this is really strong evidence that Veronica's starting to understand the two different languages, a hand signal and verbal language independently. A big mistake when you're teaching come when called, I think, is to just burn it into their brain over and over too much because then you're taking the fun out of being outside and letting them experience life. So keep it limited, but be consistent and do it every day. Small bits every day is better than one big bit once a week, for example. Now that Veronica has had some exercise, She's had mental stimulation. There's something I've really been wanting you to coach me on because I cannot afford to mess this one up. It's her bath. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's so dirty. She hasn't had a bath. She's not that dirty. It's 
kind of hard to get her dirty. I know. Maybe it's one of her breeds or something. Have you guys guessed her breed mix yet? Because I've got to know your guess. Please tell me because her DNA results will be here any minute and I want to know your guesses first. <laughs> this is a first for me. It's kind of amazing. I've never given a dog a bath in an RV sink before. Oh yeah, I know. I love that she's sink sized. It's uh, a perk. I know. And by the way, notice how good and invisible Inertia is being. She's perfect in the bath. It's not her favorite activity. She's just like, I hope they don't think about me because they sure are saying that four letter word a lot. Yep. She's like, I'm fine. I'm just taking a nap back here. You can just not notice me. I've got a great treat. Hopefully that's going to help her learn to love the bath. Put it right at her mouth as she set her down. By putting it right at her mouth, you're going to let her nibble on it so you can kind of make it last. Really briefly, can we talk about mindset when you're giving a dog a bath, especially one who's either inexperienced with a bath or has never had a bath? Yes, please. Our mindset really needs to be patient and we need to allot a lot of extra time. The worst thing to do with bath training is to go fast. The more comfortable we can make our dogs when getting a bath, the better. But Veronica's looking extremely stable. You're getting really good at just letting her kind of lick that treat and enjoy it. There's a lot of value in that and you can really make it last because the fear with a dog like hers, we treat her too much because it doesn't take much. She's tiny. If you can get her looking at you like, here, yes, you know, try and get that okay. rhythm going. Veronica, here, yes. Good. The tricky part here is like letting her see that trickle without catching her off guard. That was a great reaction how you turned it on there. Only criticism I might offer constructively is not to have it on that long. Like okay. just in case, don't give her a chance to panic over it. So then, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> And she did fine. You didn't do any harm there. It's just with some dogs, if they have that past association, and I don't know if she does with having a rushed bath. Good girl. Yeah, I'd say leave that on. If she wants to drink it, that's great. Good girl. <laughs> yes. Well done. That's good. So you see how we're going slow here. She's fine when the water comes on and even when it runs for a little bit. And she's willingly paying attention to Bree, looking up at her saying, hey, can I have another treat? And Bree's answer is absolutely you can. All right, what now? Go ahead and like wet your hand mm -hmm. and then touch her with it, but let her see it. So like don't catch her off guard. Oh, that's warm. Okay, yeah, then always check the temperature. Good point. See, my hand is wet. Look. That was good. That was a little sneaky, though. I don't know that I would do that. Oh, okay. Bree seems to be missing my message here. I don't just want Veronica to see Bree putting her hand under the water. I'd like Veronica to see the entire motion of Bree's hand getting wet, then moving over to her so that Veronica doesn't get caught off guard like that. Just let her see what's going on because. Look. She reacted great, though. See, that's water. Ready? I mean, there's more than one way to do something, obviously. See? And see, right there, that's, me. that's normal. Watch. She noticed it, but there's a lick lip there. there. It could potentially be <laughs> there you go. a little nerve wracking, but that's no. That's fine, right? That's great. That's great. I mean, interacting with the water freely is amazing. She doesn't like it on her ear. So I maybe see. I won't wash her head this time. No, no, don't get out. Wait, here. Okay, so here's an important moment. Let's go ahead and get this away from her. How about a look at me? Can you get a look at me? Look at me. Yes. I'm just like fumbling a little bit. It's a little, you know, it's a lot of things to handle at once. I'm yes. Welcome to the world of training. I fumble all the time. I'd much rather have a generally good experience for her right now than a thorough bath. So I did just reach back there and kind of sneakily get soap on my hand. Am I cool to put the soap on her? Yeah. Okay, good. Cause I'm gonna. <laughs> I love how she pretends to ask me permission to do things. Well, no, I actually don't want to mess up this lip. <laughs> no! no, Veronica, you're all soapy. Ah. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back. Can I get in here if you want the treat? Treats only happen in the sink. Yeah, that's a good way of looking come at on. it. Can you recover? It's the moment I put soap on her too, of course. Interesting. I can't, no turning back now. I've got to fix this. Because she's all soapy. All right, Veronica's getting a little wild. Good thing our other dog is very well behaved and trained. I knew it would happen eventually. Everything is falling apart. Good girl, can we be quiet? Good job. Can you lie down? Thank you. That's normal. So we're trying to get her back into the sink. Looks like we're going to have to assist her. 
And look, she's still taking treats. So I keep mentioning that, right? Because why? Why is it important that she's taking treats? Why is that relevant? If she's not taking treats, it's a sign that she's too stressed, right? Potentially, yeah, exactly. Very often, especially when coupled with the context of getting a bath, not taking treats where they otherwise would is a good indicator that they are stressed out and not likely to be the most cooperative. And so that's a sign to us that we need to adjust our strategy make things a little more low key, adjust our expectations, slow down, all of that. I see why people rush baths, because I'm like, let's freaking go here. Well, yeah, as they become accustomed to getting a bath, you ought to be able to run through one in five or 10 minutes with her. It shouldn't take that long. But that first bath, I mean, allow for 30, 40 minutes. And notice how we have it on a trickle too. If it was a full on spray, she might be a little more nervous. Get in the butt. That's the most important part when you're doing a first bath. Yes, uh-uh, stay in, here you go. And then stop go. with the water. Okay. And now just go ahead and you know, with your hands, rinse her only. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> got her. Try not to get your bed wet, but I got me wet instead. It happens. Hey. Good. Ready? Done. Yes. See, I just wanted to stop with me actually rinsing her and then turning it off instead of her jumping out. That was what I was trying to do there quickly. Mm -hmm. Woo! All right. Good. Cool. Not a bad first bath. So I give myself a what, a D? No, I give you an A plus. No, I mean, uh, maybe a C. I feel like I did a C plus. Well, she mostly stuck with it. And I like how you stopped when you saw, like you, you know, you found a good stopping point when she was rinsed well enough. Kinda. You didn't wash her head the first time, which I think was a smart move. So we're making our way through Texas. It's time to move on though. And hopefully we can make it to Kansas tonight. That's far. Zach went to get some supplies. What? Interesting. Cool. Thanks. You're Got welcome. my M&Ms? Yes. Yay. Thank you. Both kinds? Both kinds. Sweet. Thanks. Oh, wow. You guys are not going to believe this. We're actually staying at what looks like a totally abandoned fairgrounds. Brie, I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm going to sneak in a round of Frisbee with inertia. I can't wait to show you guys how this place looks when we have some daylight. But first, we'll have to make it through the night. Inertia, what are oh you my doing? Goodness. Just because we live in a trailer now does not mean we are going to start counter surfing. Pretty good day of traveling today. The dogs did excellent. Hopefully we'll have a good night's sleep. <coughs> Veronica. <coughs> One thing I've noticed as we've been traveling these few short days is that every place we stop at has a different view, which is throwing both of the dogs off, but Veronica is really thrown off. What the heck is happening? <laughs> dogs seem to be adjusting pretty well considering. I mean, they play with each other. They're enjoying seeing new places. Inertia's loving playing frisbee in new places. And Veronica is just enjoying being Veronica. She's a hot mess. One of the games they like to play is seeing if they can fit the other dog's entire head in their mouth. So far, Inertia is winning that game. True, she does have an advantage, but Veronica is not letting that stop her. <laughs> Veronica tries to open her mouth big enough, there's no way. I have a great <laughs> feeling about this place. I can't wait to get a peaceful night's sleep in our RV. <laughs> What's going on? She's barking. <laughs> Anytime She's Veronica so hears much. anything, she barks. I'm starting to think that this RV trip was a secret plan to get Bree to work on Veronica's barking habit more. Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes it feels good to bark, doesn't it? I guess. Relax, it's okay. Fortunately, the work we have been putting in with Veronica is barely starting to pay off. I mean, yeah, there's, it's understandable. We have the windows open here, it's a nice night. Yeah. So more sounds are getting in. Inertia is being such a model citizen. Got my window open. I know, puppies, huh? We're able to get her quiet without constantly redirecting her with treats and toys, so that's progress. Hey, relax. Quiet. Yes. Still a lot of practice to do, though. Next time, the reality hits us as to what we've actually signed up for, and I did not sign up for this that's a carnival that's a carnival they wanted us to move i'm just saying i have a lease if you're a new puppy parent sign up for your pup box subscription i'll have a link below follow us on tiktok and instagram and check out both of my books that i've written as well i'll have all the links below